Okay, so you've created your campaign and now you're ready to go into phase one to record your statistics. Now you scroll down, there's your campaign. This particular student has a dog bandana. Now we're gonna look at these statistics. Now your statistics, when you create your campaign, they might not be these, these columns might not be correct. Therefore, I want you to click on columns and customize columns. And I want you to select these columns, okay? I want you to select type, budget, impressions, clicks, click through rate, spend, cost per click, orders, sales, and advertising cost of sales. You might have ROAS on here, top of search impression share, just deselect those. Only select the ones that I have on my computer screen right now and click apply. Once you click apply, then all of these columns will appear. You can move left, move right. If this bar doesn't appear for you, you can actually just have the mouse here in the center and then use your arrow keys. See, I'm using my arrow keys right now. Just in case, it's a little trick. Now I'm gonna start from the left to the right. The left, you'll see status, type, and budget. I think those are pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to focus on those, but impressions, if I could pick one statistic and say it's the most important one, it's impressions by far. Now, a lot of people out there might not know what impressions are, but this says a definition, the little circle. It says the number of times an ads were displayed. That's a pretty good definition. I like to tell people, well, if you've seen a YouTube video and you saw a commercial in the beginning of that video and you press the skip button, it doesn't really matter if you press the skip button, it doesn't matter if you got up and ran away. That counts as an impression because the advertisement ran on your computer. So yeah, that's what an impression is. Uh, that's how I usually tell students the definition of what an impression is and they get it instantly. I want you to get between 2,000 and 5,000 impressions per day, but more on that later, I'm not gonna spend time talking about impressions because I'm gonna spend a whole section talking about impressions because it's so important. It's the most important statistic. I'm just gonna kind of define these uh, KPIs, key performance indicators or advertising statistics. I don't like KPIs because KPI is just overly complicated for no reason. It should just be advertising statistics. So here, impressions, then you got clicks. Now, a lot of people are gonna see, or they're not really gonna see, sometimes you get impressions and people just don't even notice you. And sometimes people do notice you, they notice your ad and then they click on it. And that's when you pay, that's why it's called pay-per-click, right? Um, right now our bid is 50 cents. So if we do get shown and somebody clicks on our ad, it's gonna be 50 cents. So um, then you have your CTR, known as your click-through rate. It's just math, it's just clicks over impressions. You're gonna have a little amount of clicks and a lot of impressions. So this CTR percentage should be between 0.5 and 1%. That's the ratio that I always suggest. If it's less than 0.5, that means you're below average. If it's more than one, that means you're above average. Uh, sometimes it's 20%. And that's ridiculous. Nobody's at 20%. It'll be at 20% if your impressions are like a 10 and you just got lucky of something, okay? So your CTR should never be higher than like 2%. It could be 1.5. You could be doing a really good job, but it's never two or higher. So pay attention to your CTR. It could be that your CTR is like 0.1 after like a week's worth of information. And what that means is that your advertisements aren't as attractive. Your image is not attractive. Your pricing is not attractive. There's something wrong with your offer that people are just not clicking on your ad. I do recommend 0.5 to one. If it's less than 0.5, fix your product. Then you have your spend. It's just, you know, if you spend $10 on ads, it appears there. Then you have your CPCs known as your cost per click. Now your cost per click should be 50 cents right now because your bid is 50 cents, but you could go up and down and up and down. So you wanna get the average CPC to see exactly how much you're paying as an average. And don't forget there about this date range, okay? This date range, you can select you know, this date range, right? 15th to the 22nd, and you can see your CPCs for that date range. Or you can see your CPC for 21st or something. It'll probably just be 50 cents, right? But maybe you know, throughout this week, we changed our bids a lot. So we want to see if that reduced our average bid by right, CPCs. Okay. And you got orders, you got sales. You're going to get uh, lots of orders. And you should get an average amount of sales. Sometimes you could get like one order, and you can get like $100 in sales. And you just got lucky. Don't focus on that. Focus on getting a lot of orders. Okay. 
Focus on doing the actions that get you a lot of orders and not a lot of sales. It should be a normal amount of sales. The sales should come in regardless of what you do. What you should focus on is how many orders that you get. So make sure you're, off, you're manipulating your advertisements to get as many orders as possible. And when I mean manipulate, I mean manipulate. Advertisements are not created, they're transformed. You have to transform your advertisement into something good. You have to do action. You can't just create something and hope it does good. Hope it does well. Order sales and A cost. A cost is known as your advertising cost with sales. It's um, it's kind of misleading because sometimes you can have like a hundred percent A cost. What that means is is uh, your spend over your sales, your advertising sales, and somebody could look at your promotion and see that they liked it and then they buy it, and then you spend thirty six dollars, but you made thirty six dollars. That means it's a hundred percent A cost but you could be doing a really good job organically. And remember, organic sales, they don't show up here. So if somebody, like if you lowered your bestseller rank and your presence is now amplified and you're getting shown like crazy without ads, those advertisements and those, those sales will not appear here because those are organic sales. Those organic sales appear in business reports. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you briefly how to get that. But A cost is just spend over sales. Could, you could have $36 in spend and $36 in advertisement sales, but $1,000 in like organic sales, which means your take costs, I, I like take costs a lot. Your take costs, which is your total advertising cost, will be like 1%, really low, even though your A cost is 100%. You always want to keep your advertisements running. And very briefly, I will show you reports, business reports. If you go to reports, business reports, this is where you can get your total sales, not just your advertising sales. This, this is your advertising sales, yes, but it's also your organic sales as well. So if you subtract this, these sales from your promotional sales, then you get your organic sales if you're looking to get that. Here, I can change it to whatever I want. You scroll down the 15th to the 22nd, I can click apply. And I can see my sales for the 15th to the 22nd. This account just started. So they obviously have no sales for that, that week. But this is how you get your total sales. And this is how you read your advertising statistics or your KPIs.